This instructional video is designed to introduce you to the postulates of quantum mechanics. Postulates are the rules, they're the grounding ideas that allow us to develop a uh, working framework. And so the first postulate gives us the state of the system. And it simply says that the state of the system can be described by a function. And this wave function has variables of space and time. Turns out that this wave function can be represented by a linear combination of smaller separate functions. Now, there are two things to note about this. Uh, the first is that you can define a probability. And it states that the complex conjugate of the function along with the function itself with some standard differential specifying space gives you the probability of finding the system in that given state. The more interesting part is that we can normalize And this is important from the probability perspective because the odds of finding something in all space should be one. It definitely exists if you look over all space. Our second postulate deals with observables. In classical mechanics, anything that you can observe, the position, the momentum, the energy, etc., has something that corresponds to it in quantum mechanics, and it is an operator. So, classical will lead to quantum, quantum. So anything you see in classical, you can see in quantum, and the operator is linear and Hermitian. A bit more about those terms uh, later on. Third postulate says that if we have an operator and we have a state that this will give us an eigenvalue equation. So, operator A with a proper eigenvalue wave function, eigenfunction wave function, will give us eigenvalue A with the wave function back. And so in this case, little a is a scalar. The fourth postulate tells us how to determine the average value of an operator. So the average value of an operator requires us to take an integral over all space and we're going to need the complex conjugate of the function, the operator itself, and the function. And so by doing this we can find an average value sometimes referred to as an expectation value. And the final postulate that we need gives us the time dependent Schrodinger equation.
The time to bend Schrodinger equation allows us to connect the time based derivative of our state with the space based energy operator for the state. And so if we can find proper solutions in the form of our wave function for the state, given the specifications of the energy part from the Hamiltonian, then the results we get for things like average values of operators and the scalar quantities in the eigenvalue equation will give us the information we're seeking to find out about the quantum mechanical behavior of the state that is specified in that first postulate.